438. What is the half-life for the decomposition of NOCl when the concentration of NOCl is 0.15 molarity? The rate constant for this second order reaction is 8.0 times 10 to the negative 8 liters per mole per second. Okie dokie. All right, so we just have to find the half-life, right? And by definition, a half-life is the amount of time it takes to have a substance decompose to 50%. It's kind of like breaking it in half. So essentially you're going from 100% of your substance and breaking it in half, and it's going down to 50%. The amount of time it takes to decompose into half of what it was, that's a half-life. And the half-life is known as T half. T, lowercase t, is always time. And this is just denoting that, hey, we went, you know, to half of what we were. So T half is the half-life, the amount of time it takes to go from 100% to roughly 50, well, not roughly, exactly 50%. But now, there's three half-life equations. This all depends on what order your reaction's in. So... If the question's nice, they might tell you what order you're in. And in this case, they said that the rate constant for this second order reaction is this number. But they did say that we are in second order. So I'm going to come over here, and I know I have to use this formula. The half-life, T half, is 1 divided by the concentration times K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one up, there we go. And since we don't need any of these other ones, I'm going to get rid of them. But if you want to, pause the video. Make sure to write these down in their corresponding orders because you might need to memorize them for your test or quiz. But bye-bye. This one is the one that we're going to use for a second order. So T half, we just said, was the half-life. That's what we uh, want to find out. This formula is 1 divided by your initial concentration of whatever your uh, substance is. So that's why A0, the zero stands for zero time at initially. And then you're just going to times that by the rate constant. Now let's see, did they give us a rate constant? Yes, they did. They said the rate constant is 8.0 times 10 to the negative eighth liters Per mole per second, uh, this is the same thing as saying molarity to the minus one seconds to the minus one. So just make sure that you can identify different units that mean exactly the same thing. And then your initial concentration, they did say that we're decomposing NOCL who had a concentration of 0.15. That was initially. Okay. So now... Let's plug in our values. T half equals 1 divided by uh, the initial concentration, 0.15, times 8.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. Let's close that up. Let's make this a little bit nicer. And now... If you need to multiply this and get this to being one number and then take one divided by that, that's perfectly fine. But you can plug this into the calculator in one shot, but maybe I'll do it that way just to kind of show you the steps. So T half equals, we'll take 0.15 times 8.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. Okay. And then we just have to do one divided by that. So maybe I'll just write that out. One divided by 1.2 times 10 to the negative eighth. Let's do that. One divided by that answer. There we go. Looks like uh, two sig figs here. So we'll say 8.3 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But now the question is, well, what time unit is this? Is it 8.3 times 10 to the 7th seconds, minutes, hours. Always check to see what the unit of the rate constant is doing. Look for that time unit in the rate constant. 
the time unit in the rate constant is s, which stands for seconds. So whatever they gave you in the rate constant, that's the time that's going on here. So this is a lot of seconds. So 8.3 times 10 to the seventh seconds, and that is the half-life. That means that that's the amount of time that needs to pass to get that NOCL to break down into 50%. In essence, you're taking your 0.15 molarity and breaking it down into, you know, whatever that is divided by two. But that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I, help, um, I hope I'm, I talk to you soon. All right. I need to get a drink of water. But uh, other than that, um, we'll, just keep, we'll just keep working hard, okay? Keep working hard. Always keep learning. And good luck on your tests and quizzes coming up. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.